once we're through gluing, to keep our pot nice and fresh, just take a damp cover pad, lay on top of your glue and leave the brush in it. It'll stay nice and fresh till you need it again. Okay, our glue has been applied. You can see it turned from a blue color to somewhat of a green. I can touch it now. It doesn't come off of my hand. It's become somewhat sticky, kind of like a postal sticker at this stage. Now what I want to do is just pull my fabric up onto here. I've got plenty of overlap to make my fold on the end of the aileron here. And again, I cut plenty. We're a little longer than we need to be here, but that's fine. I like to say it's better off to be six inches too long than an inch too short. So, main thing now is just kind of get it lined up, line it up on the aileron or the surface you're working on. Try to get it square to the to the surface. And then what we're going to do now is just use some hand pressure and just lightly rub this into that dried glue. Makes this very nice to work with. Just kind of like a post them sticker at this stage. If we can do that, you can see we can actually work this fabric, but we're not fighting a wet glue. So what we do here is we put it on, we let it dry, it becomes tacky, and then we let the glue work for us. We can actually now work at our speed. We're not a slave to the speed of the glue as it dries. Now, once I get that where I want it like that, I've got a little heat iron that's set to about 250, 275 degrees. And I just come around here and lightly iron this. What it does, it will firmly activate that glue. This is not our certified glue joint yet. This replaces the need for spring clamps. The initial tack here is just a very light tack, kind of like a post and sticker paper. It allows you to get the fabric in place where you want it. You can easily pull it loose and move it. Once you're satisfied with that lay of it, then you take the iron, get it here with the iron like this. Now what we've done is tighten that bond up. So now this actually takes the place of spring clamps. When we do our actual gluing on this now to get our certified glue joint, just everything's going to stay in place for us. Okay, that's got it pretty well laid into place. What we'll do now, we're going to go ahead and flip this surface over. As you can see it's staying put, it's not going to go anywhere. Lay this over, just make sure we've got a nice smooth lay of the fabric here. You can see right down through it, nice and snug, there's not a lot of wrinkles in it. Okay, now what we'll do is go ahead and get our glue joint here on the end. Okay, we'll change positions here a little bit for the to aid the filming. I'll just make me a mark across here. I kind of like to mark where I'm going to be cutting. You have two options. You use straight scissors or you can use the pink scissors on this. It really doesn't matter. I kind of like to use pinking shears anytime I can. It helps prevent the fabric from fraying. What we'll do here is put a little cut in this. I'm going to bring it right across. Now what we can do is fold this piece up here and kind of start working it in right around the edge here. We'll take the iron, shrink the fabric just a little bit. All we want to do is just make this transition to get a glue seam here. It doesn't take a whole lot. You can see we can let the iron shrink that fabric back just a little bit. Once we get that, you got an idea about where it's going to go. Take the scissors, I'm just going to trim that excess off of there. Again, we'll take our iron and just tack that into place. Now, we've got a nice pre-tacked area there. 
our fabric that's got a nice lay to it here. Now, we'll go ahead and just pull the fabric up right here. Work it into this butt rib. You can see it stays put, just that light pressure, slightly tacked in place. What we'll do again, take the iron and just lightly iron that to lock it into place. Then we'll go ahead and take our scissors. Cut this off right at the edge of the rib. Back about where the fabric's going to make its fold. And we'll go ahead and just lightly iron that in. Tuck it around the end here. Okay, now when we fold this fabric on over the top, this is going to come on down also form an overlap. So right now, what we're going to do, we're going to brush a little more glue right through that panel of fabric we just laid down. This glue immediately soaks through this fabric, forms a real strong bond to the glue that was underneath. And just a nice light coat. And again, we're just going to leave that because we're going to be gluing some fabric right into this. If this was a finished outer surface, what we do is take our paper towel and wipe all the surplus glue off. We'll demonstrate that here in a little bit. But because we're going to be gluing into this surface, we're not going to wipe that at this time. We'll come down to the other end here, and we'll pretty much do the same thing again. Just make sure our lay of fabric is where we want it. Go ahead and we're going to cut this off about right through here. right up into place. Work the slack out of it there. See it's packing into place real nice. I'm not getting glue all over my hands. And just a little quick touch with the iron here again. All we're doing here is just increasing the tack bond of that cement. Again, that's what I call my glue clamp there. I'm going to cut the surplus off again like we did on the other end. If you're concerned about a little bit of fabric fraying like this, you can actually brush a light coat of glue along here and let it dry and then go ahead and cut this and you'll eliminate every bit of fabric fraying as you cut this seam off. And just go ahead and cut this fabric back the inner edge of that hinge. Now just go ahead and cut on the inside of that hinge line. Get the surplus out of the way here. Then again, we can tuck that up into that pre-dried glue area. Kind of hard to see here what we're doing. I'll turn it over here. See how that was trimmed. Again, there was some glue put on this surface because we knew that was going to be a pretty tight tuck there. With the iron, you can just go ahead and lightly shrink that fabric, pull it around to get us a good little overlap seam. Now, what we're going to have is this is going to go ahead and come on around and pull up into place here. So what we're going to have to do now is we're brush another coat of glue on here and let it dry just like we did before. As soon as that's dry then we'll pull the fabric around, show you how to mark it and trim it and cut it. <laughs> 